<coughs> so this is just to show you the video of this. See this spike? This is what I picked out. And then there were several other colors, but yeah, so these are the different colors that were available. It was red. This was the first choice that I had, red. And then, and then I had the other choice of white. This color, this one, I liked this color too. But I wound up with the blue one here. Let's see. That's the one that I got, which is a nice one. So this is the eBay listing. So, and then there's the specs. This is, I guess, a 2018 model. XC7000. These, this is all the uh, specs. Paddle. Well, this is just like the one that I got. Like that, but blue. So. So this is the picks, eBay. So, so over here, I mean, this one is three eighty nine, but I, I was able to find a seller that was selling it for two sixty nine, unless, unless this one has something else that I don't realize it has. But anyway, so this is just like what I got. So, and then it's like a. Uh, you know, like that bike that I just got, it resembles this one, or like the frame. The frame of that bike resembles this one. You know, like this, like this one. Well, this is one cool ass bike, though, man. This is really cool. I like this. I love the way this one looks. But the price, though. Look at the price. This is really cool. It looks really cool. I like the style. But I mean, I like the colors too. <laughs> we can easily paint these our bikes to look like this one. And but look at the price. I mean, it's a cool ass bike. But look at the price, though. So, that's seventy eight hundred dollars versus the three hundred and sixty dollars. See the difference? Huge difference in price. I tell you. Hi YouTubers, so for this video, I'm going to be uh, reviewing this new bike that I had just got yesterday. This one is a Euro bike XC7000, and I got this one on eBay for like $360, and... <clears throat> What I have to say about this, this is just my first impression on it and everything. I have not even ridden this bike yet because of the weather. Obviously the weather is pretty bad for riding bikes. So apparently I cannot, I don't want to ride my bike today unless it's not raining. But even then, you know. So, <clears throat> the things that I have to say it's like this bike it has these um it has these super skinny tires which is pretty interesting and then it has pressed the valves instead of the the standardized ones uh what do we call those a uh, schrader or whatever they call it <clears throat> so this is a um xc7000 i picked out the blue collar they have three colors they have a a red one it's like a red white or a, a, an all white one or it's like a white and gray a little bit of gray on it and then they had this color and I picked out this color this is the color I liked the other choice that they had was like a white one I mean it was a yeah it was a white one that's the other one that I liked too but I picked out this one I'll post pictures up of those bikes on eBay. Now about this bike, it has um, 
it has these regular shifters it doesn't have the this is like the typical shifters from the Walmart bikes <coughs> and then the um, I call it, the, the, all of this is a, it's pretty much the same as a, as a Eurobike XC550 that I have but you know these these rims they're they're like the wider ones or they're these are bigger rims because they're supposed to be like more like aerodynamic from the what from what I hear about these rims I wide like this but you know like I mean this bike looks really cool I love the style of it well that's why I picked it out because I like the style this looks like one of the more expensive ones that you could buy for like three thousand dollars you know or four or five that's why I liked it because it resembles some of those like the more expensive ones like the specialized S works or something that you buy for like three or four thousand dollars it just looks like one of those bikes you know because I like the style over here this is cool I like the way the the seat post does that how it curves like that I like how it, this is cool and then I like the seat post too this is really cool a lot of style the seat well and they have a riding euro bike on it but as i saw it adjusting the seats and everything it scratched it a little bit this will tend to get scratched pretty badly like when when you move it around a lot to adjust and so these um it has these uh removable wheels or like the the kind of wheel that you don't need a wrench for this is a 54 centimeter they say and it's like the brake all the cables go through the frame and it goes out these are caliper brakes they're not disc which I like better I like the caliper brakes better that's me and these pedals these are like the little more upgraded pedals compared to the ones that come on the Eurobike XC 550 and so um, I call it well the speedometer I put the speedometer on this bike has no miles on it I just barely got it and I haven't ridden it yet so the bike is pretty light but I feel like it, it weighs in at about 28 you know according to the specs I haven't actually weighed it yet in fact I'm gonna actually do that right now I'm gonna weigh it right now with the scale. Okay. I weigh 181 pounds. Now I'm gonna weigh myself with the bike. I'm gonna weigh myself holding the bike. Two oh nine point eight and versus one eighty one. So you figure what's the weight? So so this bike does weigh in at exactly about twenty eight pounds. Twenty eight pounds. I mean it's, like, it's not bad. I mean like but it's actually funny because like my um Schwinn Solara weighs about the same. Maybe a little, it actually weighs a little less, believe it or not. But, I mean, this bike weighs in at about 28 pounds, which is pretty light already, you know. It's pretty light. For being, well, this is a 300, and the cost was 350 like I said. Or 359 well, like, it was 369 369 for this bike. <coughs> this is the other side of the bike. And so... This is what it has for the crank. Pedaling like this is really, it feels like it's really quiet. It feels like it's a quiet riding bike. Yeah, well, I don't hear, I don't even hear the freewheel clicking sounds. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm yet to try this bike out. This one has a 50 tooth. 5234 tooth for the smaller ring gear 
So this will be built for speed. This bike is made for speed. With speed in mind, you know. Not like the Eurobike XC550. That one is not not made with speed in mind, you know, because this uh this one will and then it has this um Shimano. Everything is like well it's like the typical stuff that you find on the Walmart stuff. And then well I mean the frame the frame and the wheel everything on this bike is aluminum except for the 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 um except for the um uh, handlebars and I think even the brake levers here is aluminum as well. These are aluminum. And then the handlebar steel. Everything else is aluminum, you know, on this bike. It's like aluminum frame, aluminum um, seat post, and aluminum wheels as well. But even though it says, like over here, it says carbon, but it's not. You know, these are not, nothing in here is carbon. So you figure out uh, how they call it. So that's my first impression of this bike. So this bike here, it's it's like this is like the one that I got, but right now they're out of stock of the standard rims. This is like the the other kind of rim and it's a little bit more expensive at $250 so that the X XC 7000 it's um it's a hundred and twenty dollars more but that bike that I had I paid 200 for that one so that I mean it's basically a hundred and fifty dollars more but I think these went up a little bit the price but the, with this bike though, it's like it gives us the option to buy like to buy one with mag wheels which I liked better but I wound up with these are the choices of wheels that we have this is like the one that I got the one I'm about to show yeah this one was originally $200 with shipping and everything Oh, oh yeah, and one other thing that I have to say about this bike is this one does not have a kickstand. It didn't come with any kickstands. So, I mean, yeah, it doesn't have a kickstand and, and they don't come with them. Or I mean, I think that's the way these professional bikes are or that's how I mean, they say professionals go, but I'm not sure if that's really the case or not. But it didn't have, it didn't come with a kickstand. I don't know if they actually do or not. <clears throat> now here's the other Euro bike that I have. And everything, see the handlebar is pretty much the same thing. And I think even the, well the, these are not the same. I think actually, I mean, yeah the handlebars are about the same and the shifters are the same. I mean, even the, the, um, the stem is the same as well, pretty much. And then I put a speedometer on this bike. This bike has 290 miles. I rode 290 miles on this bike to date. So, on this bike, if I'm going to say how well this bike performs, it, it, I mean, it does well. I mean, it, but it's, it's nothing, there's nothing to brag about how, how fast it is because it's not fast. You know, this bike really is not fast. I tell you that much right now. It's more like a, more like a cruising bike. You know, it it makes a good bike for like cruising or how you call it, just riding around town. But although I can use it for long distance, and I have, I have used it for long distances, but it's it doesn't pedal as fast though. I cannot go as fast because, like I say right there, the crank set. I mean, it's not made for speed. It's not made, it doesn't have the right combination of gears for speed. <clears throat> and of course, this bike, this bike apparently does have a kickstand. Apparently it does have one. It looks like, and one thing I've just noticed on this, is that it's like this is welded on. 
I just noticed that. That this part is actually welded on there. And then, uh, well, of course, this bike has the disc brakes. And, uh, and then th it has the fatter tires. This bike has fatter tires than this one does. This one's skinny. Really skinny. And of course, this bike has the regular Schrader valves. Or whatever that word is pronounced. So, <coughs> this bike... All I know, th this bike I know is... For whatever reason, it's more fun to ride this one than the Schwinn because of the style. Basically because of the way it looks. I just like the look of it. But now I'm sure that I'm going to have a blast using this bike because of the style and the way it looks. So, I mean, that's, that's my first impression about this bike. I'm yet to ride it, though. I haven't ridden it yet to, to give a real review of it. So... But this bike, I, I know all about it. This one is good. I mean, it rides it rides well, but it's not it's not a it's not a performance bike in any way. It's not it's nothing of performance like we would expect from a racing bike. This is more like a mountain bike style ride. You know the way the way it performs. But all in all, overall, I I like this bike like. I would say like maybe a nine out of ten if I was gonna put a rating, maybe eight, maybe eight, maybe maybe eight or nine out of ten. And what would prevent it from being a ten is is not having not having a a big sprocket or a, a, a gear set that's designed for speed, you know, or that would propel me faster. That's the only thing, though. But if it if it had a 52 thumb sprocket instead of a 42 I would probably think I would be able to go just about as fast as just any other bike and then this bike here apparently this bike is a heavy bike that's the other thing I had to I have to mention on this bike you know it's a heavy bike see that this is the crank set on this bike versus the crank set on this bike. See this one's made for speed and this one has more style. There's much more, more more much more stylish than the other one is. See that's more stylish but all in all though I mean this bike is fun to use. I like to ride this bike you know. It is great for around the town and everything. So, like if I like if I don't need to if I don't need to perform, but this weighs in at about 32 pounds or it was something like that, 31 or whatever. So yeah, this is a heavy bike. So I mean that's what I have to say. So all in all, but you know one thing I do ha also have to say about this bike is it's good with the hills. That's what I have to do. That's what I do have to say about this bike it's really good with the hills because i'm able to climb up those steep super steep hills there's this hill nearby where i live and it's about a half a mile long and it's pretty steep too it's significantly steep and apparently i'm able to i'm able to climb that hill without stopping with this bike with this bike and and, and it's all thanks to the gear ratios however you know like I use the smallest ring gear on the front and then the biggest one on the back so I mean I guess the ratios on this bike is like it enables me to go to be able to climb that hill but with the other bike which is a Schwinn that I have I cannot climb that hill with that bike because the gears are not low enough and that's the other thing I have to say about this bike so so all in all so I hope you liked this video of my first impression of this new um, XC7000. I'm yet to ride it. I haven't ridden it yet. So, I mean, I'll, I'll let you know on, on my next videos. I'll even put a GoPro. I'll make a GoPro of myself riding this bike and everything. Okay.